Italians, good morning. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Whoa, this is cool. I have woken up like majorly early just so that I could film this. <laughs> because I know it's gonna be all gone later. It's so pretty. back inside. I need more slap. Ooh. Icy. Do you guys see how dark it's getting and how cold it looks outside? Well, that's because it is. And I'm finally headed out to do something. I have taken it easy all day. I know. It seems like I've had a lot of days like this. I really haven't because I've said that I was going to take it easy and I ended up doing something. So I kind of took it easy today. Um, I do have a job that panned out um, uh, later tonight. So it's just kind of like I've had the day and well, I've done some paperwork and some laundry. Okay, so I haven't completely taken it easy, but yeah. Okay, let's go get the mail and go out and do things. I'll admit, I'm kind of disappointed. The roads aren't totally iced over. I mean, this may be ice right here, but there's no snow on them. Sad panda. I wouldn't snow. And apparently, unless we get a very light dusting tonight, this is the last of it for at least the next week. And I'm okay with that, because I need work. Work, 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 work. I need work. That's my sentiment, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, defroster's on, heater on, radio, the next ride getting there. Originally, I turned this on so that I could sing a song about working at night, but I really don't want to hurt your guys' eardrums, so I'll just say, hey, whoo, that was a big puddle. Woo-hoo, wow. I'll say that, hey, I'm working at night. I just got through skidding across some ice. I love studded tires and ABS. It's the best. Okay, we're out to get some parts. I've diagnosed the vehicle. The blower motor has a bad connection at the resistor block. So we're gonna clean out the connector on the resistor block, replace the melted connector, and we should be good to go. I just have to go out and get the parts. Woo hoo, woo hoo. Wow, if it gets a little bit colder tonight, uh, this uh, Lake O'Reilly right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, it's already got ice starting to form on it, but this might be a nice little skating rink. That'd be awesome. Yeah, they've gone and tried to uh, fix this over and over and over again, and yet every time it rains, it still just pools with, with water. Anyway, we're here at O'Reilly's. If this scenery looks familiar, it probably is. This is the same place that I vlogged before on the way out of here, but this time I'm done with my job. Woo! Oh, and there's a big puddle, so don't let it splash that person. That would be bad. Or that person. Don't have the puddle splash that person either. Oh, because here's a puddle right here. Don't worry, I'm a long ways from them, but... Woohoo! Four-wheel driving in my 4x4 four four truck. <laughs> and with the ABS activating too. Look at this, are you ready? All right, here we go once again. Boils and ghouls, uh, kind of like soup. We're going to do a condensed COC. First comment of the night, Halloween fur. We got snow here last night. We got about an inch and a half, and they're calling for it to snow all week. The most we should get is seven inches, and that was on Friday, I believe. I only don't like the snow here because they do not close the roads down or anything until we have at least 10 inches. And even though I trust my driving in the snow because I know how to drive in it, a lot of people around here do not seem to get that. We always have quite a few accidents when it snows. Yeah, um, so many people need to uh, slow it down. Marie Shively, hey, good video. Thank you very much. Are you a new, I was gonna say subscriber, but uh, uh, are, are you a newbie? Is this your first comment? Oh, and I'm sorry, I had not arranged the comments yet. So Mr. Brote, you were actually first. <laughs> Bren, funny you bring up Victoria's Secret. Here's my story about it. If you guys wanna see that story, go and look at yesterday's vlog. 
All I have to say is, ew. <laughs> Robert Fogelin, in my younger days, I would ski and snowmobile when I lived in New Hampshire. I learned how to drive in snow then and haven't forgotten now or how to now. Oh, Mr. Broat, you also say question of the day. Yes, doing no donuts in the parking lot and sledding. A tip for all of you with front wheel drive. Put the car in reverse to do donuts. Just watch out for the occasional lamppost that usually appears when you least expect it. Oh, that's funny. Keith and I did that in the parking lot of, um, of the church up the street. So here we are. <laughs> that's Keith. <laughs> <laughs> you goofy? Huh? I said you goofy. Why am I goofy? <laughs> I, I can barely even break the back tires free. That's how you do donuts in a front wheel drive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the brakes and whip it! Curb. Oh, Duke, son! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Here goes Troy one more time. We dog it. Sideways from the get. Crank it. Sideways again. Is he rounds turn three? There he goes, there he goes. Does he got it? Oh, he got it! That guy's was an awesome slide. And yeah, I would go to a parking lot and, and screw around because you, typically you can't hurt anything. And um, it also um, helps you. It helps you brush up on how to pull yourself out of skids, how to get into one, how to maneuver. It's like retraining yourself every year. Oh, Jay Bernard III, you got a job at a local high school as night custodian. Excellent, congratulations. Real fan Jason, Victoria's Secrets and Radio Shack cards. Ha ha ha. Also, it's going to be snoraining here Friday. Grr. Question of the day, answer, staying inside where it's warm. So yesterday's question of the day, in case you guys didn't know, is what do you like to do when it's snowing? And you say, I'm like a Klingon, low tolerance for cold, and it's so cool that Phoenix is interested in Trek. Lots of good can be learned from those shows. Uh, Phoenix told me the other day that he, when he grows up, he wants to be an astronaut. So watching Star Trek right now is probably really interesting to him. Well, Spain Hollow, if you do that taste testing thing and title the vid that way, you may be able to reach some new viewers because there's a sector that targets those who watch foreign taste tests and comparisons. Yeah, that would actually be a great video to do. Uh, Patrick R. McConnell, been away for way too long, but wanted to share that my wife and I became grandparents for the first time at 6.33 p.m. to a baby girl who weighed in at 8 pounds, 8.3 ounces, and 22 inches long. Wow, I'm not sure that I'm ready to be a grandparent yet, even though I will be 60 this year. Well, congratulations. Your kids know how to have sex. <laughs> Sorry, I, I saw that on a comedy special. Uh, a comedian said that, and it was so funny because a heckler in the audience uh, was sitting there talking about grandkids and stuff, and it's like, oh, congratulations, your kids know how to have sex. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Anyway, serious, sincerely, uh, congratulations. All right, guys, that's it. Happy hunting. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. I'm going to give you a high five and get you out of here. Hey there, Todd from Wisconsin, and you've been watching Beyond 1031. Behind me is Wisconsin's deepest lake, Lake Wazee. Deep enough that we could drop the Statue of Liberty in her, she'd never be seen again. 
Now, I'm going to tell you, I think you really should like, comment, and subscribe today. Or you know what? There's plenty of room in that lake for you, too. Yeah. Do it.